So yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna start a family when I find a guy. And um, I get the queen. What if that guy found you? What's your, what's your relationship status right now? Same. You single? Same. Snake. Like the only snack there should be is me. Right. And so I call it. It's like, nah, nah. Come be honest. Like, I think that you're gonna be What's good YouTube? It's your boy Drew Jeremy back again with another video. I know y'all see the title. This video is about to get lit. So make sure y'all hit that thumbs up right before we get into it because it's about to get crazy. Right now I'm at the Innovative Royalty House. I'm going to give you a little bit of the backstory. Innovative Royalty is a team of YouTubers where we come together, we collab, we do videos, we share ideas and stuff like that. You feel me? We just do the work to make us grow. We help each other grow. You feel me? So right now I'm about to pull a prank on Vanity by J. I'm gonna tell her I'm feeling her. I'm gonna act like I'm doing some type of video, like a Q&A or something like that, cause we all doing videos and stuff. I'm gonna tell her my collab video with her is a Q&A. I'm gonna start it off, ask a couple questions, and I'm gonna get spicy. But before y'all come for me in the comments, I already know I'm not trying to really get her. It's only a prank. Entertainment purposes only. Let's get busy. Start recording. We're gonna like, we can just start off real natural. Or whatever. <laughs> Real natural, or whatever. Real natural, or whatever. Yeah. Cause, I you ever did an um, Q and A on your channel before? Mm -hmm. No, I did one. I think it was a month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, what kind of questions gonna be asking? I don't know. I don't like being put on the spot. Why not? The spotty spot. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think through what I'm gonna say. <laughs> How you like New York so far? Um, I like it a lot. Like, I just think it's cool. Like, the vibes are cool. This is not my first time being in New York, but... Uh -huh. Right, because you right, literally right, right there. Yeah, I be driving up here on my own some, right. sometimes. And I just be chilling. Like, that's just my vibes. I just go with the spirit thing. So, if I want to just get up and go to New York, right. your girl going to get up and go to New York. Because nice. I, I love it here. Like, the last time I've been here was a lot of people, though. Huh? There's a lot of people. What I haven't been here since like the Oh, since started. COVID? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, That's crazy. Cause even like Times Square and everything, like Times Square looks dry, completely dry, different. Dry. No matter what time you go, like even in the daytime, it's still yeah, like that's that. That's crazy. Like it's just so weird to see it like that. Right. Like so many people just gone. Right. It's like a ghost town, kind of. Right. That's crazy. It's crazy. I don't like nothing about it. Facts. Would you like, you want to move out of Maryland though? Yeah, I do. I kind of, I kind of want to go to Georgia, like ATL, because I don't know. I feel like that's just what's calling me. I feel okay. like Atlanta is calling me. But I know a lot of my best friends, well, not a lot, just my best friends, they want to go to Dallas. But mm, me and Texas, that Texas heat is not for me. Like, nah, I don't like, I, I would have never went to Texas. Texas is like one of the states that it never, like, really attract me like oh yeah i'm gonna go to texas mm -hmm. nah never atlanta um la uh where else florida probably where else that's the places you would move or yeah visit? Oh. no no i would probably move to um connecticut that's that's a definite because it's like right there um what else that's about it for right now. Is it as expensive to live out here as people say? Oh, hell yeah. I was just telling Key that, like, it's crazy. Like, even this house right here, mm -hmm. the rooms is mad small and everything like that, but mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure they're paying a pretty penny, penny for that. Like, and it's ridiculous. You could probably, the, the amount of money that they pay for this, probably in Florida, you're getting a whole, whole like, big mansion Yeah, I'm type telling house. you, those houses in yeah. Florida? Yeah. They be cheap. Right. They be love. Right. They be love, love. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Where so, you trying to move to? I don't know. I probably, I think I'm going to go to Atlanta. Atlanta? I'm going to get me a nice. I'm going to save up uh -huh. and take myself to Atlanta. Because uh -huh. I don't know. The vibes just seem nice. And I feel like there's so many people there. You've been there never before? Live. No. Oh. Like, you just see we, it? Yeah, it just like I see it and I just I love the vibes. Like I okay. I watch a lot of people from Atlanta. Like right. 
their vibe and everything. Right. Or I watch people visit Atlanta and it just right. be lit. Yeah, on the vlogs and all that. And I need to be there. I feel yeah. like my energy would fit so well in an Atlanta right. atmosphere. That's a fact. Cause it's like a it's a it's a town that's really is black oriented. Like mm -hmm. everything is for us down there. It's like it's kind of like our city in a way. Like mm -hmm. I haven't seen any other city that's like that. You know, maybe. probably probably Louisiana. Mm, a little bit. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Or Dallas, Dallas yeah. a little bit too. Or oh, Houston, I feel like a lot yeah. of black people. Like yeah, Houston. Houston, facts. Houston and Dallas, facts. When you start to get, that's when you, you run into right. a lot of white yeah. folks. A lot of the ones that don't like you, ah, oh, just for your skin tone. It's crazy. It's crazy. Why you stay out here at this so expensive? Huh? Cause I mean, that's where my parents moved and everything, and I just never moved from then. You know? You didn't think, so, oh, if I move, I can save some coin. No, it's not that easy, especially like when you get a job and everything, and mm -hmm. I, uh, right, exactly. So it's like you don't know any different. And then I feel like I'll, I'll probably be homesick for New York too. Like if I move somewhere else, I'm gonna be like, damn, I don't want to go back to New York. Cause although it's expensive and everything, once you live here for so long, you kind of get used to it. Cause it ain't really that bad a place to live. It's just that it's, it's expensive. If you want to live here, you got to pay a, a pretty penny. But the vibes, the people, the culture, it's a melting pot in New York. So it's like, it's lit. They a little rough around here. <laughs> <laughs> they a little rough. <laughs> <laughs> they, they a little mean around here. Yeah. They be ignoring people. That's why I don't like to say hi to people. Because well, if you uh, ignore me, I ain't going to like it. But right. she the type to say hi to everybody. And like, they right. literally ignore right right that's a fact because um i remember one time i went to maryland it was a culture shock i got off the train right mm -hmm. and shorty came out the train and was like yo uh um, make sure you move out the way for the guy i'm like we don't do that like, that ain't, that don't happen in new york it's different like that don't happen in new york at all it's different like when you get it's when you get here it's like rude but right. it's rude in maryland but it just depends on where you're going it depends on where you're at like right. it's a lot of kindness there but it's some rude people down there too depending facts <laughs> yep, yep, yep. but i don't know like you i understand being homesick at the same time right you just gotta branch off sometimes because i'm a big 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 family person like uh -huh. family is so important to me like I will risk everything I got for family because right. I just love them so much. But at the same time, I know I'm gonna have to leave for my growth. Like right. I can't stay in Maryland. I don't see myself staying in Maryland. Right. When you trying to start your family? Whenever. You get that guy. Yeah. When I get that guy, you know I'm not. Okay. And I don't want to start a family until I can afford to start a family. Right. I don't want to raise my kids up in no poverty because right. I know what it's like growing up with no money like right and it's it's tough like i don't want my kids to go through that like i don't want them to be like spoiled and stuff like i want them to know the importance of being humble about what you got mm -hmm. but i don't want them to grow up how i grew up okay so yeah i don't know i'm gonna start a family when i find a guy and um when i get the coin what if that guy find you Look. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in <Yeah>. luck. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What's your what's your relationship status right now? Single. You single? Single as hell. Okay. Single as hell. Ain't nothing complicated. I'm just single. <laughs> um, what happened with that? Or your last? <laughs> <laughs> what happened with my last yeah. guy? Um, so he was kinda like my high school sweetheart or whatever. But uh, we like we started off as best friends. Mm -hmm. But then, like, 12th grade year, that's when he said, like, he liked me. And so, then we tried to, like, talk. But then he started talking. Like, it kind of felt like I was in competition with this other girl. And it was just so much mess going on. Mm -hmm. And so, then, uh, after I graduated, we was talking. But then he got distant. And then he, like, disappeared. Like, when I say disappeared, disappeared. Right? Mm -hmm. So, then, uh,
Okay, all right, all right. I'm a little crazy. I can say <laughs> I'm a little crazy. So, um, like a long time ago, like high school days, he gave mm -hmm. me his password to his Instagram. Mm -hmm. And freshman year of college, I still remember that password. So I just got on, and like I would just scroll it. And like the day, like a couple of days after, like uh -huh. he like made it official. He was in somebody else's DM talking about like you look like a snack, and I'm like a snack. Like the only snack there should be is me. Right. And so That's I called. That's a fact. That's what I'm saying. So I called him. Because you're looking like a snack right now. <laughs> all the time. I always got to give it. I always got to give it. Facts. I always got to give it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let him know. Let him know. <laughs> but I called him and he was like, he, he confessed to it, but he didn't know how I seen it. Because this what happened. I called him. I was like, so like, what was you doing and how that happened? He was like, you can log on into my IG because he didn't know I was in it. Like right. He was like, you can log on into my IG. You're not going to see nothing. And I'm like, okay, because I already knew I seen something. So I just scrolled straight to it. I was like, okay, so what is this? And then he apologized and da, 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 And me, I was just so forgiving because, like, he was in everybody DMs. Like, he was in everybody right. DMs, probably with everybody. It was just too much. That's crazy. Because the thing is, like, when I'm in a... Not me. That wouldn't be me. That wouldn't, that wouldn't be me. That wouldn't be you. Nah, never you. Never you. Never me. Not at all. Mm. Not at all. Mm. Well... That kind but of story, that kind of story. <laughs> on a real though, on some real, like, mm -hmm. I really didn't call you out here for this video. I'm gonna cut all this out. Like, I really wanted to tell you something real quick because I was kind of feeling some type of vibe. Like, you know, when we was in all in the house and everything, you know, I don't even know how to say this, but don't worry, I'm, I'm not even gonna post this, but, um, I think I kind of feel you a little bit. You? No, you, you, you playing games. Huh? You playing games. I'm really not, though. I'm dead ass serious. I'm dead ass serious. For real. What you think about that? I play a lot of games, but I'm, I'm just being honest. What do you mean? Why do you think I'm playing? Because you like to, you like to do the prints. It's not, I told you, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going I'm to delete that. Like, I'm not going to use this. I, obviously, I can't use that. Like, come on, really? Yeah, you right. You're right. What's up? I'm asking you. It's like, nah, if I'm being on, honest, like, I been thought you were attractive. Uh, so you saying we got a future? Move in Atlanta? Yup, let's go. Yeah. Let's pack the big. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, let's pack the bags. I'm ready. The house? Huh? Five, five, five bedroom house. Atlanta. Listen, 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 listen. I was thinking about starting off with a little condo. Correction. Mansion. You right. Mansion. I'm gonna end up I'm gonna end up in a mansion. I know. Facts. I know, but I would just, I just know. Facts. Room tours, house tour, empty house tour. I can't wait to do that. <laughs> I just can't wait to do that. I can't wait to get me a little Tesla or whatever. Right. I just can't wait. Right. I'll be lit in on play. I tell you so. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I didn't. <laughs> no, you did. Yes, I did. <laughs> no, you did not. Drew, I know you. You're a good liar. <laughs> You're a good liar. I've been you, friend. you cap it. Like, yo, I got scared. What you saying? I got scared. I'm not yeah, even going to front. You better, you I better. ain't know how to. Cut, cut, cut. <laughs> cut. <laughs> For real, though. Yeah, cause I you you got the wrong person for this prank, honey. You got the wrong person. <laughs> cause shit, I'm the type to talk. Yeah, I see. I got her and everything. Mm -hmm. Eddie by Jay in the building. Introduce yourself. You didn't even like. Um, it's your girl Vanny by Jay. You gotta say your line. You it's your it. girl Vanny by Jay, and I'm wondering what's popping, cause I know you popping. <laughs> Hold down your pussy and your pistol. Let 
<laughs> Alright y'all, that's the end of this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up. And tune in for more because we coming with a lot of lit content on this channel and all our channel, Innovative Royalty Period. Stand Up. Right? Alright, we'll catch y'all. Bye!